Hey everybody, Kathy here with Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller. Today I'm doing a 12 by 16 inch canvas and I have my base coat down which is Color Place by Walmart. It's ready to use uh, white, interior white and we're gonna go on with our colors which is Pearl Marmalade by Arteza, Metallico Blue by Artist Loft, Deco Art Gold 24 karat gold, Deco Art Texture I threw in today, teal green, Autumn Leaf and Candied Yams by Color Art um, Primary Elements, and then Copper and Gold by Artist Loft. My cell activator is going to be black today. So we're doing the drizzle, the swipe, the ruck, and the spinneroo. So we're going to start with our drizzle. What's in your base besides paint? No silicone, no glue, no water. Plain old white house paint. My mixture for my paints are the blue mixture, which is 15 ml of Vivid Enamel, 15 ml of Rust Oleum Triple X, Triple Triple X, with my paints and with my pigments. It's the same exact thing. Does not fluctuate. And that recipe is in video 248, which is Kathy's recipe video for blooms and the drizzle technique. And I will have a pop-up on the screen to take you directly to that video. And there's also a link in the description that will also take you there. And you want to get your um, colors all the way to the edges so you don't have any white edges when you do your drizzle. And when you do your swipe, We'll talk about that when we get to the swipe. But for the drizzle, you want to have some white showing. You don't want to overdo any color. You don't want to have big blobs. You want to do it just nice and easy. And you bring it up in the air. And you can just make it any old way you want. I can make a little K. <laughs> I can do a P. Can write your name on the canvas. You won't see it when you swipe it, but if you want to be artsy like that, you can. You can make all your designs like that. Now, when you do, uh, I've had uh, people say, oh, "Why don't you make like butterflies or make hearts or you know make designs, make trees when you do your wrecking?" You can make all the designs you want out of butterflies and trees and all that. A heart, you're not even going to see it when you spin it. Yeah, the spinning uh, changes a lot of the things on the painting, such as the size of the cells and the size of the wrecking lines and so forth. So. You can have a very nice design before the spin, and it'll be distorted after the spin. So, <laughs> uh, the, the spinning is a very important part of this technique, but it's not designed to have really any kind of artsy, artsy. Uh, well, pictures that right. will remain on the canvas. Yeah, because we tried it, and I put hearts on there. You can't even tell there's a heart. Might have like a little side of one, but. Okay, this is that texture by uh, DecoArt, which is the teal green that I'm incorporating. And if you get bubbles, uh, make sure that you pop those. Because if you don't, your white base is going to come up through your creation. And you might not want that. We have over 290 videos on uh, Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller channel. So there's a lots of neat videos that we've done in the past that are, were a lot of fun. And so check those out. You just go to the playlist, right? No. Play, oh. Playlist is different. Okay, Did, so where do they go to find gonna, like a certain one? I'm going to explain that. Um, you can go to our channel and just peruse through the individual videos. Uh, that's one way of, of watching other videos. Another way is through our playlists. 
I have grouped the different pours into playlists. So there might be a playlist of flip cups, a playlist of the drizzle pours, you know, a playlist of non-canvas pours, which means she did a pour on something other than a canvas, such as a tabletop or a wine rack um, or a cheese board and so forth. So those are grouped together in a playlist called non-canvas playlist. So that's another way to kind of find related videos on a type of pour. She, you know, did I mention flip cups? Mm, no. Okay, there's, flip, there's one for flip cups. There should be, uh, what about um, swipes? Oh yeah, swipes. There's playlists for swipes too. So it's a great way instead of wading through all the different videos, if you have a particular interest in a swipe, a type of swipe. Is there blooms? Um, blooms, that's right. We have a bloom playlist too. Because so. people just, a lot of people think I just do this. I just don't do this. It's, I've been doing this lately because I have so many blooms already and stuff and swipes. Um, I decided to do this and just show everybody. Right. Well, this is your newest technique. It is. And so for you, so you want to have enough of these videos so people can get a really good feel for how to do them and, and learn and learn. Yes. Doing my black cell activator now with this, and you want to do it very lightly. The cell activator is simply Amsterdam black paint and Floetrol. Correct. And Kathy gets about a third or so of the back of the card with the cell activator on it and lightly swipes through the drizzled paint. And this is Holy what you're cow, trying to do. Holy cow, is that going to be pretty? You're trying to get simply a lot of different colored cells. That is going to be, look at that. Yes. That's really gold. Yeah, we're going to get some nice colors there. And the second swipe, you get all the different golds. And now there's already a river there, so we're going to repair that. So we'll show that in a bit. So the first thing Kathy ah. does when she does the swipes is to do all her main swipes over the canvas. Do you notice anything different, what I'm doing? Yes, you're, you're swiping in different directions. Correct. You gotta see what happens. Yes. Because that will bring the black up all through it instead right. of just certain areas. And uh, the reason Kathy is doing that is if you swipe everything, you know, half this way and then the other half going you you get know, towards it the right, down the middle. you'll get a lot of black residual cell activator uh, down the middle. And that um, can yes. sort of take over a little bit of the, of the uh, canvas or the painting, I should say. See, we're getting a lot of black cell activator there. And we're trying to avoid having that. We'll make up for that over here, though. Because we'll wreck that. We'll just wreck the heck out of it. Well, Kathy has some techniques to kind of... Tweak. Alleviate that, to uh, tweak it so it's not such a noticeable. Ooh. Man, I, I'm liking that gold, let me tell you. Mm -hmm. Really liking that gold. I think that is really, really pretty. And if your um, cake spinner spins, just hold on to it when you're when you're doing this because it if you notice, mine's uh, spinning. So I'm just hanging on to it. Yeah, see, I mean, it's not, it's better if you just do it random, especially on these large canvases, you, got, you get a lot of black. Yeah, you have to do so many swipes on a larger canvas like this that. You get a lot of black. There's a lot of residual black cell activator that doesn't quite take hold and make the cells that you want. 
It's okay to have some of that. There's nothing totally wrong with that, but you don't want too much of it because then it'll leave a black streak in your painting. Right. Which sometimes actually looks pretty good, but other times sort of not. Wish, you wish it wasn't there. It's true. Oh, that, that pop sells instantly. Yeah, it did. Now, if you use, if you keep using your same card, make sure that you look on the card to make sure that you haven't used the place on your card with your cell activator. I didn't quite understand that. Okay, okay so, so I've used this four times. Oh, oh, okay, you've used that card four times. So what I do is I wipe it off. I look at it. Now I have it on both sides here. Okay. I have it on both sides here, I can tell. So you don't want to use that again. Okay. You want to take a new one because you don't want to go over it with the cell activator. Okay. Because you have paint on there. Oh, I understand. And you're not yes. going to get the cells. Yes. So that's, I'll show you after I'm done here with this. Okay, so you're cleaning the card because this was the first time you used the card. Correct. Okay, that side. so. Okay, oh, okay, there's. So now I flip it over on this side and do this side. Okay. Because it hasn't been used. Right. I understand that now. Okay. And then you wipe that off. And if you want to, you could use that card again or no? Yeah, because okay. see? You got the other area. Okay. And it, now you can see it on the back. Right. Okay. So I can use that side now. Because I haven't you used want, it. You just don't want to use the same part of the card twice. No. Okay. No, you don't. I learned something new today. Yes, you did. Okay, so I got to fill in that. But I don't need that large one. Okay. Kathy has the main swipes done. She's going to go through now and get rid of areas where she didn't swipe and or maybe repair some of the other areas that she doesn't quite like. So. And you see, by that doing. Big area there. Huh? You have this big area right, right here. here. Right here. Yeah, I know. But what I wanted to say is by doing all the different. It, actually breaks up all your it does yeah no your um exactly cell activator yeah swiping everything in the same direction um this seems to leave less of the areas that need to be repaired uh, well on when a you, big canvas at right. least so when you go in several different directions okay i just got to fix some of these rivers Now Kathy is coming back with a smaller car and fixing the areas that she calls rivers. There's another one mm -hmm. there and there that right. you just want to get cells there, as many cells as possible all over the canvas. And we get tons of cells. And I make my cell activator up brand new almost every day. Yes, fresh cell activator is very important because you need that reaction to create the cells and if it gets too old, it loses, uh, I'm not a chemist or anything, but it seems to lose its... its uh, yeah, what's the word for it? It loses uh, its... Um, well, it's losing, it sort of loses its strength, yeah, strength in order to yeah. create the reaction Kind of like me when I spin. When I spin left, I lose my strength. Well, drink some cell activator. Get your strength back. Well, that's one way of getting rid of me, I guess. Huh. You want to hit our 50th or do you <laughs> want to not? Okay, I think I'm going to leave it, actually. I think you're good. I yes. really don't want to. I think you're good. We've gotten... Okay, I'm going to get rid of this. The cells that we're looking for. And we don't have all the activator in one place or right. down one line. Right. So on the big ones, I think you want to swipe in different directions. It just seems like it's going to be better and it won't give you like a big blob of black. Okay, now what I'm going to do is 
I'm going to do this different. I'm going to do it in one big thing. One long, one long wrecking line. And I'm right? going to bring my wreckings in closer to the middle so I don't lose my design. Okay. But I'm doing it in one huge thing, which I have never done. So we're going to do that right now. Very cool. Very cool. That's going to be our wrecking non design. A so non-stop wreck that was. Yes. Where it stops, nobody <laughs> knows. So the reason Kathy be. mentioned it, uh, you got to be a little careful because when it spins, these wrecking lines are going to go towards the edges and you may even lose part of it. But that's okay because you'll still have some of it showing. So we'll see. We're going to see now what happens. I think I've wrecked it more than enough uh, oh yes yes okay i gotta start over here where's your abracadabra you missed it you better do it maybe i better <laughs> not do it okay. abracadabra show me what you got baby oh oh, oh yeah. yeah oh yeah i did it i did it it's pretty. It's pretty. Turn it so the bottom by you is facing me. I think that would be, wow, look at that. It's like a, just a wonderful flower. It's beautiful. Coming up through the painting. This the is colors, really, really pretty. The colors stayed in the cells. I don't think I even want to spin no, it again. I know. And the black cell activator is really defining the edges of the cells beautifully. And this her, is her wrecking pretty. lines expanded. So as you can see, some of these wrecking lines actually went off the edge. Mm -hmm. She had them several inches from the edge, but when you spin it, the centrifugal force takes everything to the edges. And you will lose some paint and some of your design, but if you keep it centered as much as possible, you're still going to retain the look that you want. This is really, really pretty. Yeah, I'm, I'm really, really excited nice. with this. Uh, the colors are beautiful. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. So if you like it, everybody, give me a thumbs up, hit the bell, and subscribe, and you'll be notified every single time Phil uh, uploads a video. If you have subscribed, we love all of you. Um, a what, Phil? Yeah. Oh, Etsy shop? Yeah, please go to my Etsy shop. We have tons of things in there for you to look at. I just actually resined five more new sets of coasters and we will be putting on uh, trinket boxes uh, soon, as soon as everything is dry and you, Phil will be uploading those. There's like about 10 of those as well. So um, keep your eye out for those because they're really, really neat. They're all velvet lined and uh, you can use them for jewelry. You can, anything, you can put anything in them. So until the next time, everybody, I hope you are well, stay safe, and um, if you like it, give me a thumbs up, share it, and like I said, please subscribe to our channel. We are growing more every single day, and thank you, thank you so much. We appreciate all your comments. So until the next time, bye. Let's take another look at this beauty. Here's a view of the whole painting, and then we'll kind of go down and Cruise over it.